today's episode of the Daily Divine Feminine. I'm your host, Vivian V. Today's episode is going to be a Q&A Thursday. I asked you on Instagram questions. Anything was up for grabs, whether it's about manifesting, relationships, story times. And I'm so grateful for all your submissions. Thank you to all the questions you guys submitted. We'll go ahead and get right into kind of the more commonly asked questions. And also, I am filming today's podcast for the very first time. I wanted to kind of do more video sessions of me on screen if you're interested, um, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're listening to the podcast. Both will be a thing I want to start doing, so let me know what you think about the video format. But anyways, let's go right into the questions. All right, so I have my questions here. First question is, how do you manifest on a daily basis? Is it actually effective? Is it beneficial to your mental being? So I would say on a daily basis, I do manifest. I think that it helps to have kind of like a vision board and identity statements and habits that you can look at and kind of implement on a daily basis. So for example, one of my manifestations is to become a writer. I actually want to publish a book one day. And um, so that's kind of like the statement, like I am a writer. I am going to be a published writer. I'm going to have a New York's bestseller book. So that's kind of the identity statement around that goal, that vision. And then manifesting that would mean knowing it's going to happen one and also doing things to make it happen. So it's one thing to think it and believe it. Now manifesting also means following up with actions. So then I will basically break it down on a daily basis, different habits that I can do that will support that. And that's manifesting on a daily basis. So for me, that means waking up at 5 a.m. every morning and getting off of my phone, journaling and reading for an hour. And sometimes it starts like 5.30 to 6, but between the hours of 5 and 6, that is the time for me to focus on just writing and absolutely nothing else. It's something that I don't make excuses for for myself because I want it that bad. So that is a habit that I implement to manifest on a daily basis for that vision. And then I have other goals and manifestations as well that I will find ways to implement within my daily routines. But that's just an example. And I believe it's really effective because it gives me the confidence that I am doing what it takes to do that. It's not something that I really doubt because in order for me to get there, it takes doing things constantly what you do constantly leads to success Um, and whatever it may be it could be your health and wellness it could be your mental well-being it could be your diet it could be um, if you want to exercise more if you want to be more fit if you want to um, just be better at anything or feel like you are improving in areas of your life to become the person you want to be and that is by starting by living like that person whatever you want to be just be it and do the things that allow you to live in that way and it means changes it means um, discipline and but I think it's also really beneficial to my well-being because when you feel like what you're doing isn't serving a purpose and you're not building your confidence in the things that you're doing and who you are that's when you get into cycles of self-doubt and um, depression and anxiety and i do have moments of anxiety and i have had a history of depression in the past so for me it's really distinguishing when i'm feeling like a wave of a certain emotion 
acknowledging it and then recognizing whether it's true because everything starts with a thought literally everything whether it's this video you're watching right now whether it's this microphone whether it's jasper or you know everything starts with a thought and what all that you do in your life starts with a thought but if you are constantly in a cycle of negative thinking you create a negative reality if i say well i'm not good enough to make that video today or like i really don't think i have what it takes to become an author i won't take steps in that direction and i'll i mean instantly i'm like oh like i want to but i can't that's it so instead i'll go i want to be an author I am going to be an author and this is what an author would do and that means waking up earlier it means writing for you know at least an hour a day and getting excited about it because it's what I'm passionate about so make sure your manifestations are things that you actually want because deciding what you want even at times when it may feel hard you remind yourself why So whatever it is you're doing, the what, the actions, remind yourself why. So that way when waking up at 5 a.m., I'm like, what I'm doing right now, I may feel tired, I may be sleepy, I may want an extra hour or two of sleep, but I go, wait a second, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I really want to be a writer. I have what it takes and that's what I want my life to be about. I want to write and so many other things, but that's just an example. I want to kind of reiterate to explain um, kind of my thought process around manifesting and it is a great way to improve your mental health because you have a purpose and when you are faced with challenges and decisions in your life, you can go back to, does this support the life that I want? Does this support the person that I want to be? So that way, when you decide based on that, that that decision is supported, it's firm and you're confident because it's, it's supporting what you know you deserve. And that includes, you know, the people you surround yourself with, the way that you're treated, the way that you treat other people, what impact you have on the world and the people around you, but also what you deserve at the end of the day. This is your life. Don't you think that all the dreams that you have are worth making true? You have all that it takes within you. It's just making that decision, figuring out what habits can support that and you will feel like driven and excited to be creating a life with with the best version of yourself in mind and taking care of yourself and loving yourself and being confident because you're doing all that it takes to to make those dreams come true and no one said it's easy it's not easy but it's worth it because you won't be living for other people's approval you won't be just going through the motions what you're creating is meaning in your life and i think that is so beneficial to your mental being and it's very very effective so so next question is from life of shania and she asks how many hours of sleep do you get a night so I actually get a full eight hours of sleep and I wake up at 5 a.m. every day. This is something that I've been doing for a couple months now. Obviously, there are days in, like on the weekends, I won't do this, but for the most part, Monday through Friday, like 95% of the time, this is my daily routine. Um, Before... Like, this has been a thing for the past year. Before, though, I would just sleep in till, like, 9 to, like, 10 or 11 and go to bed at, like, 2 or 3 and just be tired constantly and feel like I wasn't really getting anything done. Waking up tired, going to sleep, just, like, wired. And honestly, it's because I was taking Adderall. I took Adderall for about two years and... 
it led to major burnout and depression and the most anxiety I've ever felt in my life. I thought that I was getting so much done and because of that I would feel accomplished but in reality I was just thinking about how I wasn't doing enough and I wasn't treating myself with the love that I deserve and the patience and I just wasn't happy. I realized that I needed to make a change so I actually stopped um, taking Adderall and made adjustments to my sleep schedule and the eight hours have done me so much justice. I feel like it's affected the way that I treat others, I treat myself, the way I look at myself, my confidence. I feel overall just more healthy. I feel just like less brain fog throughout the day and I'm doing a lot more of the things that I actually enjoy doing without the pressures of is this enough? Am I enough? Um, it's something that definitely takes effort and time to correct these kind of cycles of thinking. But yeah, definitely sleep is so important, guys. Um, having enough sleep, it's something we've been told, but it's like, yeah, sure. But I can definitely say having enough sleep eight hours is life-changing all right next question is from melissa dugan and she asks do you regret any of your tattoos thinking about getting one but don't want to regret it i'm gonna get real with you guys about this so most of my tattoos are actually matching tattoos with a friend that i no longer talk to um but i don't regret it at all i think that the tattoos I have have a lot of meaning and hold a special place in my heart for the person I was at the time when I got them. And I always made sure to have meaning behind my tattoos. My first one is a moon, which obviously means a lot to me with like Moroccan moon. And I've always felt like connected to the moon. Um, it's kind of something hard to explain but I do like believe in astrology and that we're all connected by um, some sort of like higher being and I do believe that like the moon affects the tides I think the moon affects us a lot as human beings and I think that it's just a beautiful concept um, that it's a constant within civilizations and all over you know the world that we're all connected by um but it was a matching tattoo with my best friend for a very very long time so when i look at it i mean obviously i think about a lot of things but i don't regret at all getting it and i have other tattoos as well most of them are matching tattoos but they hold a special meaning like i said and i just don't see the point of regretting them at all um i think that they're beautiful they have beautiful meanings and i give it the power of whatever i want it to mean and whatever impact it has on me and i choose for it to stay meaningful in a positive way and I think they're beautiful tattoos. I really do. Um, another one, for instance, is my mom's handwriting on my wrist here. It's her um, graduation card to me, and it says, love you always, and I love it how it's just right on my wrist here so I can constantly see it. And then I also have the word resilience on my rib cage, and that's a very special word to me. Resilience just meaning the ability to bounce back um, to overcome challenges in life and come back stronger. It's a constant theme in my life that I remind myself when I feel, you know, times are a little bit more challenging, that it is something I can overcome and I will continue to overcome. And I also have a wave on my foot, which I got in Hawaii. I love the ocean. I feel the most myself and like alive when I'm by the water. And I got that tattoo when I was 19, so that one's super meaningful to me. It's also a matching tattoo, and um, I, I just have no regrets at all. I think that if 
it's something meaningful to you that you find yourself feeling like it represents something that means a lot to you and it's your body at the end of the day you have the decisions to make whatever choices you want to make whether it's how you express yourself whether it's um you know where you do it when you do it who you do it with i think that's totally up to you and if you think you're gonna regret it then don't do it but i i never i never thought i would regret it and i don't regret it so i think that um it's definitely worth something thinking about because it will be on your body for the rest of your life unless you decide to remove it so definitely can understand kind of the hesitation no doubt um but i personally don't regret any of mine so that's kind of my perspective on it all right last question is from lee lenny and she asks sounds silly i want to start doing daily affirmations but having a hard time coming up with them it doesn't sound silly at all um this is actually something that i was struggling with for a while i do the five minute journal every day it's actually right behind me um i've been doing it since let me flip back like all these pages are filled back to the beginning of july and on our instagram account at the daily divine feminine i do daily affirmations and this honestly started because i had a hard time coming up with them i felt like i was constantly googling it and it would take me like 15 minutes to find one or two which kind of defeats the whole purpose of five minute journaling so what i did is i just sat down and i came up with a whole bunch based off of different things i read um, whether it was books or on pinterest or just kind of quotes and coming up with affirmations that really resonated with the habits and the manifestations that i want in my life and feeling like these will genuinely help me when i find myself maybe having self-doubt and then I actually started posting it for you guys um, as well to use if you want to start using affirmations. Um, yeah, I just kind of sit down now once a week on Sunday and I just make all of those daily affirmations for you guys and have them scheduled to post every morning. So if you're having a hard time, totally understand it's not always easy just to come up with it out of thin air. Um, so I've kind of helped you out with a little bit of of suggestions around those if you want to use those i will be so so happy to help you in that way they're there for that reason so yeah all right guys well thank you for listening to today's episode or watching if you're watching right now i will be sure to continue doing these q a thursdays feel free to submit your questions on our instagram at the daily divine feminine as well as my personal instagram and it would mean a ton to me if you could leave a review and follow me on whatever you're streaming this currently on it would mean a lot to know that this is helping you in any way also suggestions are greatly appreciated if you want to comment or message me i definitely take those into huge consideration i just want to be able to help you in your journey of healing and growth and self-love so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode and I'm going to go ahead and leave you with some affirmations. I am on the right path and know that everything is working out in my favor. I accept what is in my control and release what isn't. I can feel I am attracting a new beginning in my life.